Well, Coach Jerry Kill is very familiar with an offense run by Bill Q, but you know that they're going to be aggressive and spread your perimeter. But what challenges do they present defensively? Well, I think defensively it's all new to us because they're playing a 3-4 defense, and uh, that's something they haven't done in the past. So, And we haven't seen, um, you know, all spring or through camp and the first two games. So we got a huge challenge of assignment football and understanding what they're trying to do to us. When you take inventory of a season ago, what are the greatest differences in growth you've seen in this year's squad? Well, I think, uh, you know, more so than anything, I think is a trust factor that we're going to be here and our coaches are going to be here. I, I think there's been so much turnover. I think there was a little bit of lack of trust, but uh, they've been under the same system for a year, and, and uh, we have a lot of room to, to improve, but I, I think they understand a little more. We've seen steady improvement in Marquise Gray's game. He's more comfortable throwing the ball. How do you get him going early? Well, I think we got to do a good job, you know, in, in uh, you know, uh, with our uh, play selection and, and uh, what he does well and, and uh, take what the defense gives us. But we definitely need to get a good start with him. Well, we're looking forward to today's, today's game. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Welcome to Coronado Naval Air Station in San Diego, California for the Coronado Speed Festival and the race at the base, the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup, part of the Mazda Motorsports Hour. Hello again, everyone. I'm Rick Benjamin, championship road racer Randy Popsel. Join me for the call here in a couple of moments. And we're introducing Stacey Pates, the newest member of our team. She'll have our pit road coverage here this weekend. Fifteen years they've been doing this event at Coronado. First time, though, for a professional event as part of the weekend. And the Playboy Mazda MX-5 Cup drivers and teams happy to be a part of this. We're getting down to the end of the season. The championship's still in play and three drivers still have an opportunity to win the title. The driver who's third in the standings had a tough week last week at Virginia International Raceway. Stacy caught up with him earlier to talk a little bit about the ups and downs that have faced John Dean. Rick here with John Dean and first of all talk a little bit about why this season's been a little crazy for you guys. Uh, well we're a new team. Everybody knows that. Uh, it's been difficult you know with the uh, uh, race one at Sebring, you know, we had the fuel issue and, um, you know, just uh, trying to learn the car and uh, learn the suspension settings and going to tracks that we haven't been to before. It's been difficult. These other teams have been out here a long time. And, uh, you know, with penalties and issues and cars crashed and uh, myself driving across the country with the rig, um, it's been uh, it's been exhausting. Let's talk about that, driving cross-country from Virginia here to California. What's that like mentally for you? Uh, it's just exhausting. We, you know, we finished up there. We packed up. It was super hot. You know, just uh, putting in a 10, 11 hours of driving behind the, the wheel of the toter home there. It's so basically a semi-truck. And then getting into these cars, it's not exactly uh, the easiest transition. But uh, uh, it's fun. It's just uh, it wears on you. You know, I'm ready to get home. We've been on the road for like three weeks now. And not just the drive across country, but what had to be going through your mind knowing that on the last lap what went down with your car? Um, relief. <laughs> it sounds strange, but uh, we've had issues all season with just uh, unlucky stuff on the car. And it was kind of, I was kind of happy to not have to drive it this weekend. Um, you know, I got Dean Copeland's uh, spare car uh, this weekend, and we've gone through it to make sure nothing's broken on it and uh, just... I haven't even really changed the setup on it. Uh, kind of running what he had, uh, just doing some tweaks and tunes here. Um, this track is really awkward. It's I've never set up for a motocross track before, and it's kind of what we are doing here. You know, we're, it's, it's like we're jumping the car through this track, but uh, it's really bumpy out there. Um, do you think Dean would rent me a car and then you and I could race? You want this one? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you want your other one? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I do right now. All right, as the field gets set to roll here at Coronado Naval Air Station at this temporary circuit, John Dean ready to strap into his machine. One of three drivers. The Spurs have been throughout the season, but right now, obviously, the story is out in Los Angeles, and we welcome in Stacy Paints from TNT. Stacy, uh, quite the circus out there with uh, the ongoings of we thought Phil Jackson, not Phil, and all of a sudden Mike D'Antoni. Yeah, it's a little bit of a circus, but no velvet jackets here, I'll tell you that. You know, it's one of those things where a lot of people were talking about what was going to happen here, and with D'Antoni getting the job, Kobe Bryant was one of those guys especially excited to have him, along with Steve Nash, as you can imagine. Let's hear what Kobe Bryant had to say. Today was the first day he talked about the new hire. I mean, I really didn't know what to expect, to be honest. I mean, I think we were all kind of, you know, thinking it was going to be Phil. Uh, probably called Mike off 
off guard a little bit too. <laughs> um, but I mean, I'm I'm excited. Have you talked to either one of them yet, Mike or even Phil? I spoke to Mike this morning. How'd that conversation go? Oh, it was great. How, How much do you talk about them? what you guys are going to do, what your offensive plans do? Oh, not much. It was, it was really short. Just kind of like a, like, you know, a hello type of thing. Did he call How you? How much do you work on the Olympic Games? Uh, what you, the interaction you have with him? Uh, I mean, we have a great relationship. I mean, it's uh, uh, the offense that he installed for our, for our USA team is the offense that we've run you know, to the tune of two gold medals. You know, we all know the type of talent that we had on that team, so it was important for us to have an offense that was that was flexible, that was open, um, that kept everybody involved, and um, it, it worked worked pretty well for us. He is obviously very excited, and the gentleman who knows even more about Mike D'Antoni, Steve Nashville, talk to us a little bit later, Jared. Well, Stacey, you know, we're going to continue to talk about it here in the studio about how there are so many strong ties within the organization to Mike D'Antoni. But the popular choice among the fans the other night at Staples Center, they were chanting, we want Phil. He, he was the overwhelming fan vote on fan night. Hmm. But do you think that that's going to be a problem with these fans or do they just want to win? Well, you know how fans are. They want immediate action. They want immediate W's. And they've got the backing of the players, Mike D'Antoni does, so they think the fans will be on board with this. And one thing that Steve Nash said is his brand of basketball is going to be very exciting for these fans to watch. Yeah, they might be disappointed that they didn't get Phil Jackson back, but they're going to see some really exciting basketball under the guide of Mike D'Antoni. So that's one of the things they're talking about. They know the fans are going to be on board, and they really expect them to be on board quick. But as you guys know, that can only come with winning games. All right, Stacy, live in El Segundo. We hope to check back in with you later on in the show. Great work today. Thank you. As Stacy talked about, so many strong ties with Mike D'Antoni inside the organization, especially Kobe Bryant. NBA on TNT. Brought to you by NBA 2K13. In stores now. Coming to Wii U November 18th. Rated everyone. By State Farm. With the assist to get you to a better state by Call of Duty in 3D on a whole new level with LG and by Bacardi 150 years of starting parties We are early in the first quarter here in Portland and the visiting Los Angeles Clippers up by just a couple of points. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Stacy Pates. Well, Marv mentioned this earlier, the health of Blake Griffin, that burst bursa sack in that right elbow. He's still going to wear that pad on the elbow. And by the way, that's nothing new for him. He's had those elbow situations for a while. You can also add a stiff neck into the mix. And he said after the game last night when they beat the Spurs, he said he was feeling pretty good, but his back bothering him a little bit today. Now, now listen, this young fellow, we know he's going to be able to go for a while, and his head coach said the same thing. Then he says, no matter what, he knows he's going to give him everything he has. All right, thank you, Stacy And Blake Griffin, no stranger to injuries. You recall he sat out his first season because of the, uh, the knee surgery and then came back and won Rookie of the Year honors. Our third member of our team is Stacy Pates. Stacy, welcome to the telecast. Wayne, thank you so much. Glad to be here. It's going to be a beautiful day of college football. When you think about head coaches in the college ranks, of course, you mentioned these gentlemen share common experiences, but what's rare is the spoken admiration and respect they have for each other. We all know the story of Jerry Kill last fall suffering from seizures. Bill Cubitt made one phone call to Jerry's secretary here at the football office, and he said, please tell Jerry Bill Cubitt loves him. It's that admiration that makes these two gentlemen very special. Bill even went on to say if his own son didn't coach alongside him, he'd want him to be with Jerry Kill. Thank you very much, Stacy. Minnesota has won the toss and will receive these.